Hello and welcome to Cinturon's Corner and today we are reviewing from the Star Wars Black Series and the gaming greats Star Wars Republic Commando RC1262 Scorch. Now this is the last one that we need to finish off our Republic Commandos um, so it's been highly anticipated and when they actually released the official like pictures of this figure it looked really nice there was extra sculpting parts and stuff there that the others were kind of lacking as well so it would be nice to actually sort of like compare this over as we go through the review so the other figures will be coming at the end of the review that is for sure um, and unfortunately the the biggest sort of thing here if you're an inbox collector this is the fourth one in the series um and all the rest are window packaging and this is the window less one so it's going to look really odd in those collections unfortunately for you guys there if you keep them in the box but saying that this is the first time i've got my black series um figure that's been in a closed box uh, i've done marvel legends we've done the power rangers and stuff as well but saying that normally sort of like uh black series are always sort of like a little bit behind you know incorporating other parts from hasbro like articulation uh sculpt and stuff like that but i do feel like the patience has paid off with this it, to me it looks the most professional looking box uh i think marvel legends got a long way to go power rangers is okay um but i just feel like it represents what it is in the box there just it just looks really just professional i just do think this could come up a little bit more so we see more of the figure up to there um, but i think it looks really cool on the side we still got this sort of mural that kind of progresses through so they haven't changed that as much on the back we still got the bio is number 18 in the series and we still got the, the render in there of the actual figure itself so that is still the same which is nice and on this side as well we've got just a static picture of the figure it says six inch here so you know what you're getting inside the box again looks really nice and professional so i guess without further ado let's crack this bad boy open so here he is in his packaging he just looks really small compared to the box um but what we do we'll just pull him out uh, for our first impressions so i guess these are his accessories and we'll just pop him off they still look like little morgue bags, unfortunately. Uh, on there, it's actually got gaming grates and stuff on the actual tissue paper, which is nice. So we'll just unwrap him for our first impressions. And um, do you know what? This is the first one. Looking at it, it's probably knocked me off the gone. Actually, that's really cool. I really like the actual gray they used on here with the yellow. It looks really nice. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go away. Go and put him for his poses, put him with his always other accessories, and we we'll see you in a moment. If you feel like this is a great figure, then smash that thumbs up. It really helps out the channel, and I do feel slightly appreciated as well. Uh, you can subscribe and ding that bell so you get notifications for future content. Thank you. We've been away, I've taken these pictures, and what can I say about this figure? Well, I want to say really congratulations to Hasbro, but I just don't feel like they deserve it. This is like the last chance they had, and they got it right. And it just feels like it's a massive kick in the teeth, because the other three have been absolutely crud, where they needed a lot of extra work. Okay, Boss didn't really need as much, but then he only had a little bit of orange on him. Uh, obviously Sev he, need, he was missing a lot of red Fixer was missing quite a bit of green this one is still missing some paint applications but there's a lot more going to him he's got extra sculpt parts on there he's got all these other parts as well and it's like they've put all their effort into this guy and they've chucked it in a windowless packaging as well so you can't even see the beauty of him if you are a pack you know an inbox collector as well um, so it's like a massive kick in the teeth uh, especially when this is the last one of the guys and we're not going to get any more um so hopefully forward wise black series is getting a little bit better that's all i can praise for um so i want to say well done hasbro we give them a little bit of a round of applause but it's just a little bit too late for me so i really want to put an f-bomb here to say you <laughs> um but just saying that it is a really nice figure it really looks really cool so anyway we're getting to the details of the figure and the itty gritty parts um and that's really kind of the downside of it is actually is too good 
um, but it's just the last one. So first of all, it comes with one blaster, uh, which is this blaster on the side here. And as you can see straight away, there's paint applications and stuff on this guy. So we just take that off to have a little quick ganders up close. So it's got the standard Republic Commando blaster there underneath. And then we've got this extra kind of attachment part on the top it isn't removable it is stuck on there uh, so you just got that kind of sort of lighter gray strapped around on the side as well details are all there and we've got this extra little white part as well uh, kind of just up on here i'm not too sure if it's supposed to be like a, a sight or anything but yeah we just got an extra tiny little bit of white paint there which i can understand in in the previous times they would have missed that off but they have gone for the full length of actually putting that there the other accessory he comes with is his backpack and again this is in a an enormous new kind of sculpt on here so we've got the original kind of sculpt there in the middle and then we've got these extra attachments on the side i feel like there may be some paint missing maybe some darker sort of uh of this gray should be up here as well i kind of looked a little bit at the uh reference pictures on there but i will do that when i do the upgrade but i just feel like there is slightly a few bits missing here but I'm not too sure. We've got the actual light grey at the top here with the uh, kind of light that sticks through at the top, which looks pretty cool. But obviously the digital pad on the back there isn't filled in. That's held in the back, the same as the others with that kind of T kind of peg that fits in the back. And it is really kind of secure on there. So we give him the old wobbly chest and he is fine. So taking it out, we can actually go for this guy's articulation. So just like before, we have head goes left, he can turn right, he can look down and he can look up. We've got that bit of swagger in there. We've got upper neck movement of the ball joint and then we've got the lower dumbbell as well. Uh, so he's got the lower neck movement there. Full rotation around at the arm, but it is hindered by his shoulder pad. So you do have to twist that out of the way if you want to get to a certain pose. There is a small, very small sort of butterfly joint in there that you can only get to uh, just for a little bit but obviously we've got rotation here rotation at the elbow single joint as well rotation at the wrist and it's also on the hinge waist you can swivel left and right you can crunch a little bit and crunch further back leg wise come up this far forward back upper five rotation there we've got knee rotation down this part and then we have the single knee joint just at that part and then we've got a rocker and a pivot at the ankle so all in all really nice articulation just a standard sort of body before so nothing new there nothing on the new sculpt or anything there we've got the original head down on the body on this part it's all the original parts you can even see that it's even got the hunters kind of gauntlet there where he did have a sheath but what makes this guy stand out is obviously his paintwork and just look at the gray on there it just looks really nice it's a really good matte gray kind of almost looks futuristic like it's probably one of the best best grays i've seen on a figure from hasbro for a long long time the silver on there, well, silver kind of blue, it's not too bad. Again, we've still got some extra kind of paint marks on there. We've got the black and all that, that which is filled in, which is pretty cool. Around on the back, we've got the white coming up on top of the helmet. Gray on here as well, white, and then the gray swiping downwards into these yellows, uh, which looks quite nice. They're actually molded in the yellow as well, so the yellow is quite bright. It's not, you know, it's not like uh, painted on there over the top. So the gray is there. There might be a little bit of grey missing here on his gauntlet, which isn't too bad. And then coming down to his legs as well, we've got the yellow and the grey. It's a really nice colour. Again, looking at the reference pictures, I think this is supposed to sweep around to here. And actually, it's supposed to have a yellow bum uh, plate here. So it is a bit bland around on this part. But from an aesthetic look at the front, Hasbro have got it right. And then we've got this nice big sculpt mark, sort of like... Uh, I don't know bombs or kind of tubes there looking pretty cool we've actually got a like lever effect on there we've got the white with the uh, little triangle print and it's actually a separate piece so it's actually not attached in a way but it's just strapped around that leg so that's really nice as well down to his shins and then down to the last parts of the yellow and the yellow is really i just think it's a really nice looking yellow to be honest with you it really pops really stands out and looks really nice so with that we can actually put him onto the shelf and we can bring in his other clone brothers uh to put him against against all the other separatist clone army well not clone army obviously the droids so we have got boss here these guys have been also upgraded so if you're new to the channel uh, what i normally do is review the figure 
on its basic factory looking and then I'll take it away where I feel like some details are missing. So here on Boss, we have given him a, a newer visor there. We've extended sort of like the markings around on his arms and extended the uh, neck kind of seal around there where they have a larger drooped black. Guns are sort of gun metalled up and we put some extra parts on here and he's got extra elbows and we paint up his backpack as well. And actually comparing the backpacks there, you can just see where they've added the extra parts uh, on those bits, which is quite nice. So um, yeah, at least it's the same sort of size all the way through. They haven't downsized it to like keep plastic at a cost, which is nice. So there is Boss. And then we'll bring it in Fixer. Fixer didn't really need much either. He just needed an extra paint. So we painted this part up here and added this extra green bit that was missing on his tummy and this kind of like ammo kind of part there that hangs onto his shoulder. Extra elbow pads as well. So then we can put Fixer on this side. But the guys, they, they did let down. They let Sev down. He needed a lot more red paint on there. So we actually added a lot more red to this guy. We had to add this part at the top here as well and also on his shin we had to add on these kind of extra kind of light pouches and stuff which is a real big shame because if they put as much effort into this scorch i don't think people a lot about complain about them i know a lot of people complain about the sizes of the republic commando but for me i don't think it's too bad and i kind of like it that i haven't really moved too much from the actual mold all the way through so at least they are the same size and they all look pretty cool together if if you ask me but um yeah just a little bit too late hasbro in my opinion but it is a fantastic figure he looks phenomenal so thank you so much for joining me on this one don't forget to comment down below subscribe ding that bell follow me on instagram where you'll see more of these pictures on instagram and i'll see you next time take care bye